Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. Wish your mind wrapped in or wrapped around. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to easily create your own professional looking website. And for this tutorial I'm going to be using Wix. And the reason I'm using Wix is because I really like their website builder and I've personally used it for my own website. So we're going to be using Wix for this tutorial and it is completely free to build your website. Although there are some premium options to obviously get your own URL in there and some additional perks but we'll get to that soon. If you're a designer like me then you might want to actually build your website first you know in Illustrator so like design it all in Illustrator first and then you can come into Wix and then design it which is what I've actually done here. I've designed a website on Illustrator and I'm now going to rebuild it basically in Wix and show you the process of how I'm doing it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to wix.com or you can just type in wix to google and you're going to click onto the first link and once you get to the wix website you probably have to sign up or register so once you've done that um, you'll probably be taken to this page and at the top here you'll have this and that's where you'll click to create a new website but before we do that I'm just going to quickly show you the premium options so if you click on manage site and then upgrade here so this shows you the different premium options and the most popular one is called Unlimited and it says entrepreneurs and freelancers, £7.76 £7 a month. Um, you can convert that to dollars if you like, I'm not sure what that would be. But you get unlimited band bandwidth, 10 gigabyte storage, you can connect your own domain so you can have your own custom name like mine's stevebradbydesign.co.uk so you can have that instead of it being like something.wix.com. Um, and then you get a free domain name with it as well so you can create your own domain and if you go over it with this look with your cursor as well it has this little question mark and it just tells you what each of these different things mean so that's helpful so you can go through these at your own time and just see which one of these best fits what you want so we'll just get to actually designing the website now so we'll just go back to here and then click on the top here and then go to create a new website so I've already got a website here so I'm just gonna click on create a new website so once you've clicked on to create a website It'll say what kind of website do you want to create and since we're designers then you're going to click on designer obviously but of course if you're more if you're a business owner or a photographer then obviously click any of these but designer so i'm going to design it and that carries on with this as well create your own website with the wix adi so basically this creates and designs it for you and this is if you want to just have all creative freedom with it yourself so since we're designers like i said we're going to go with this one so start with wix editor and here it will just give you all these different existing website templates that you can just use and edit for yourself. So we're just going to select a random one. So just select this one. And this one was called Multidisciplinary Designer. So just click on this one. Once you've clicked it, it'll just Wix website editor. It'll open this. And this is just the website you clicked on. And then you can just freely edit every element of it. Just X that off. Right. So at the top here, we've got the header, horizontal menu. Just remove that remove the logo so I'm just gonna get rid of pretty much everything here I'm just doing this by hitting the backspace key and just selecting things then hitting the backspace key I'm gonna keep this little arrow because I actually have this implemented in my design as well so keep that out so get rid of the background change page design is that just the background yeah so change the background we'll just change the background to a color for now just so it's easier to see so just make it white right okay so what I've done is with the website I've just saved it as a PNG so I can have it open at the side here as a, just a visual reference so I can see exactly what I've got to do so as you can see at the top the navigation bar is white with orange type so I'm gonna make the header so it's called the header click on the design click on the header make sure it's selected then hit the little paintbrush for the design and customize design at the bottom or you can pick a template one if you want but I'm just going to design my own because it's going to fit obviously the design that I've created on Illustrator so I'm just going to make the outer, outer part the background white and then the center background make that white as well and I'm just going to hit the X so that's X'd off and then I'm just going to quickly open this again as you can see at the very left hand side I've got a little orange tab with the mellow logo typing that I created so what I'm going to do over here is click add and wait for this to load come down to box and I'm just gonna select a random box here drag this up onto the header off the grid yeah that just basically means that it's for responsive websites you won't see it 
So like depending on the size of your screen, some, web, some monitors won't be able to see this far across basically. And now as for the colors, I'm just gonna go back to my Illustrator and I've got my little color palette up here of the colors that I've used. So this orange is this one here. And that's just a white, which is hashtag FFFFF, I think, which is the hex value. So I'm just going to double click this, get the hex value for this orange, and come back to Wix, click on design on the box that we made, customize design. Whoops, don't know why the edges have just gone rounded. Let me go back, actually. Change design, let's see what's just happened there. Right, I'm not sure why it changed that, but let's go customize design background make it 100% fill add color and then this way you're going to paste your hex value that you just copied from illustrator and now you can see it's been added to your swatches palette here so you've got that color all the time now and now what we're going to do is add the logo on top of it so we're going to do that by clicking add let's go to image my image uploads and you'll see there's a lot of this stuff here that I've already uploaded from my own personal website since I'm still logged into the same account so I'll just go and add some of the stuff that I need to put in there, so like Mellow. So I need the Mellow logo. So what I've done is I've just created a little folder called Wix Tutorial Website, and I've just got all, my, all the things, all the elements that I need from Illustrator to be put into Wix. I've just saved them all as individ, individual elements, and I've got them all saved here and organized, which I definitely recommend you do. So I've got the logo here, so Mellow logo. Just open that, and once that's done, hit OK. Add to page. And now it'll add your design in, and I'm just gonna throw this up here on top of this. Just scale it down. Just make it a bit smaller. I don't want it to be touching the edges because it'll look a bit silly. That looks about right. And I think actually the header on my design here actually looks a bit smaller than this. So I'm gonna see if, can I make this smaller? Yeah, right, so you can make the header smaller as well if you like. Okay, that's good. That's probably a better size. And drag this down. That's in, that's in the right place. Right, so now we have that. And now we have this big sliding image that comes on the middle of the screen. So what we're gonna do is come to add. And then you're gonna come down to slideshow. And I'm just gonna select one of these. So let's select this first one. And we'll just throw this in somewhere. Where's that gone? Let's put it at the bottom of the page. <laughs> right. Uh, so just click and drag this element. Just hold it and drag it to the top. If it does this, what it's just done to me. And just drop it in at the top. So let's put it there. And I'm actually going to just make this a little bit bigger so it fits my screen better. So once you've got the strip at the top, what you're going to do is click on it. I'm going to come down to change slide background at the bottom. I'm going to come over to image and it's going to open up this again and what you're going to do is come to upload images and I'm just going to go to the folder in my Wix website folder called slides and there's slide 2 so I'll just select that one for now and hit OK change background and this should update in a second there you go so that's that one updated okay so now we're going to change the other slides because as you can see there's more than one slide there's three so what we're going to do is come to the settings here and how long between slides so how long do you want it to stay on each slide so let's put this at about five, let's put it on five seconds actually five seconds and make it slide horizontal so that's the transition how long do they last the transitions so that one second seems about right keep that in close this off layouts manage slides hit manage slides Go to slide two oops right so once you're on slide two all you do is the same thing again is change slide background i'm gonna go over to image and i'm going to now upload my second slide and once that's done hit ok we'll press done done and change background and i can just delete these two so i don't need these And third slide, we're not gonna have a third slide, so we can delete this one. So manage slides, hit that, and then delete. So we're just gonna have two slides for now. Of course, if you've got multiple different ones that you're gonna use, then of course, use those. And now as you can see, we have this done. So if you go to preview at the top, 
you can now see how it looks so we have this which now works so you have your two different slides which down for five seconds each and you have your banner at the top which we're now going to add the navigation to so let's back out of that and let's go to add so I just had to go back and change this. What I originally did was just use piece of type, but I remember you had to actually use a button or you had to use a navigation bar. So um, I'm just replacing these now with buttons. So all I'm gonna do is come to add and then come to button at the side and come to a basic one here, just the first one. Just click this and drag it up so it says attached to header. Change text, button, I'm gonna write home. And hit the X off that. And then I'm gonna come to the design over on the right hand side. Customize design, fill color, make the fill color the orange. Whoops, sorry, now this is the border. You don't want a background on it, sorry. So you just make that zero. Then you're gonna come down to the text at the bottom and color, I'm gonna make that orange. And then the theme, leave that. And then the actual font, we need to go for brand and grotesque again. And we'll knock the size down to, what did we have these at? these are at 12 so we'll make this at 12 as well right and then when it hover over it it will go to a gray color so now I'm just gonna close that off and I'm just gonna replace all of these now because they were all in the they're all wrong so just delete these Okay, so now that we have these up here, we can't actually link these to anything since there isn't anything to link it to yet. So what we'll do is we'll now build the rest of it. So we need to delete everything that's down here. Just get rid of all this. Get rid of these anchors as well. We'll be using anchors as well in this. So um, I'll show you how to use those shortly and what they do. Just get rid of all these. Okay, so once you've cleared the website, all I'm gonna do now is come down to this part here and I'm going to make a new section. So I'm just gonna click add. In fact, where is it? What's this? Add um, strip. So let's just go with classic black and we can change the color of this if we need to. So I'll just drag this down to full size. So like this. So now you've got this full size, let's have a double check of this actually. So here we go, there's a white bar here which I've missed, so let's just bring this back up to make this little white bar. And then we'll create the next part of the page. So this needs to be about there, yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is just duplicate this. So now we have it again, put it underneath. And this top one, this top strip, change strip background, color, and I'm just going to make that white, so that's white. And now we need a little arrow, a little orange arrow pointing downwards, so I'm going to add. And then you're going to come down to shape, and there'll be little arrows in here, so we will go with, let's just go with this one, the rounded one. Uh, change the design, again with the colour, so we'll go with orange, border and opacity. Turn that right down, I'm not sure where that is. And we'll just drag this down now into the center, attach the strip, and make it smaller. So, about that size, and make sure it's centered. Perfect. Right, so now that's that part done, let's keep scrolling. And now this part would be about the size of a page, so I need to stretch this down. Oops, about, let's see if that's right maybe a tiny bit more and the next part of this website is the next color so oh wait is this just orange okay now this first part this first part is just the first orange so let's go to here and change background color and make orange so now you have the next strip done and what we're gonna do is just duplicate that again pull it down Keep coming down until you right until you're here, and just whoops, reattach it there. Change strip background again. Go to color, and now we're going to change it to this color, which is the next one down. But of course, if yours is all just one color, then by all means keep it all one color. 
but if it's multiple different colours and you can experiment with this as well and you could have a variety of different colours or it can always be one like you don't have to be experimental with it obviously if you don't want to be so I'll just paste that in press ok and again I'm going to duplicate this and then the bottom section the last one is actually a smaller strip for the contact page so let's put it about that big alright and this one is going to be the last colour which is the bottom and get that hex value come on C <coughs> change strip background colour add a colour paste it in and hit OK hit the X's sorry and now if we just go to preview just to give you a bit of an idea of how it's looking so this is how it would look at the top and then it scroll down to these different sections and these navigations here these buttons these would like if you press about then it automatically scroll you down to this part of the page which I'll show you in it shortly so back to here and this part of this part is actually quite quick adding the actual content to the website is a fairly quick and easy process since Wix makes Wix just make it really easy to do so as you can see here now we've got the about page so first we're going to just add the avatar the name and then the occupation sort of thing so just go here so we need to add the avatar first by going to add go to image upload image and again go to upload images at the top and I already have all these marked out in my folders like I said earlier so avatar I'm gonna go with the outlined avatar and hit OK wait for this to upload once that's uploaded just add it to your page so wait for that to load in and I'll just make it small because I don't need it that big oops okay I have um I've held shift there, don't do that if you're doing it, I've messed up and held shift, I'm used to using Illustrator. So add your image in, don't hold shift when you resize it because you will mess it up like I just did. And it's a reasonable size about there. And let's bring it to the middle, attached to strip as well. So now that's attached to this strip, let's see if that's about the right size. Yeah, it could probably be a bit smaller. Yes, just to reiterate, don't hold shift when you resize things because it kind of crops the actual box, but not the content of the box, if that makes sense. Right, so we need to add John Smith, and then what's the details there? Graphic designer, illustrator, and hand lettering artist. Right, okay, so we're just going to come in, go add, text, site title, and just use that one as a default. Where's it putting that? Right, it's putting it on the wrong strip. Make sure you're on the selected strip first when you do it. Add site title. There we go. Right, so his name would be just John Smith, just a standard name. John Smith. And we need to change this to Brandon Grotesque again. If I can find it. There it is. Brandon Grotesque, bold. Yeah, keep it white. Unfortunately on this you can't, you don't seem to have the different weights, the different um, typeface weights, like you only get the one font, which is Brandon Grotesque, you don't get Brandon, Brandon Grotesque, medium, light, regular, so you can't really, um, I suppose you could save the individual elements out from Illustrator, but that would be quite time consuming, so if you wanted to do that you could do, but if not, you just have to bear with it and just use the bold sort of tool there. So just keep that and make that a bit smaller. Oops, make sure it's highlighted before you start messing with things. So John Smith, let's put this at, let's say 25, how does that look? 25. Uh, yeah, keep it at 25 for now. Make the box about the same, same size. And again, we'll just duplicate this, drag it underneath, edit text. And what did it say in there? Graphic designer, illustrator, and hand lettering artist. So, and now we're going to make the size of this much smaller because it doesn't need to be big. Uh, what size did we have that actually? What size are these? These are 12 point, right? Let's make this 12 point as well because this is lowercase, it won't look as big, which is good. 
uh, that was a good little hint that just popped up then as well make sure you are saving your work you don't want to just you don't want it to just crash or your internet to go off and then you've not got your work saved because that'd be a nightmare so just make sure you keep coming up to the top here and pressing save and as you can see now it's coming up with get a free wix.com domain so if i publish this website now you could go to it by going to fondesignsuk.wixsite.com forward slash my site or you can connect it to a custom one but obviously we don't have a premium account on this one yet so right so that's all one line so just put it all on that. oops drag it over center it there we go so that's nice and central and now let's open this again so now we have these little percentage things here so i'm just gonna quickly make these by duplicating this so pull this down here and these need to be made smaller i believe that one was photoshop so let's make these let's try 15 how does that oops that's not worked let's try 15 let's see how it looks uh yeah i think we'll go with 15 that looks about right so we've got photoshop illustrator and then hand lettering is the three different skills for the john smith and the last one is hand lettering Right, so now I've got all the pieces of type for it. Now I need the actual free individual percentage element things, like the little graphics that I made for these. So I know I've saved these as individual elements so I can bring these in, like I said earlier. So that's important that you do do this if you want to have your own elements implemented into your website like this. You have to obviously export them as separate elements. So let's go to image, oops. And again, upload images back out of this folder go to percentages add these three press done and then add I'm just gonna make sure select all three of these select all three of them add them all to my page and let's make the oop, remember don't hold shift when you resize I just know I did it again then right so let's resize these down now to a reasonable size so just throw one there now quickly so let me see roughly how big they are in here I think this 100 one's probably closest to the right size. So let's save out there. Let's drag this over the hand lettering. Uh, Photoshop, so let's make this the same size now, which is easy to do because it's sort of like them smart guides like Illustrator does. So, oops, see how it locks when it's equal. So I'll drag that over, central. There we go. And do the same for the 75. So now I'm just going to double check just to make sure everything's central here because I know a lot of people would just, they just move on to the next part now but I like to make sure everything's exactly the same distance apart and dead centre so let's just make sure, right so that fits there, see that's not perfectly centred so that would have been a bit, a bit of a nightmare, right now that's centred. Right, let's save that just to make sure we've got it. Save and continue. Right, is there anything else that needs to go on to this section? Yep, two bodies of type, right. So now I'm just gonna add some more type to these. So I'm just gonna select this paragraph. I'm gonna drag it over here a second. And I'm just gonna paste all that Lawrence in. I'm just gonna delete some of it. Not that much, I think make it white so color white there we go and make sure we've got it on brand and grotesque right drag this in out there that's all right and now we're just gonna duplicate this because the type doesn't actually mean anything on this this is just simply like filler type so that's how that'd look Except for me, probably be justified type rather than just sat in it like that. Um, a line left, you'd probably have it justified. Right, let's go down to the next strip, which is the gallery. Oh, need to add the um, the page title as well, so we'll just duplicate this, bring this up to the top up here, and just right about. And this would be, let's say, 20. Oh, could do highlighting it first. 20, finish. 
done right and now we need to add a little rectangle on the other side so let's go to shape add a rectangle change the design and it's sim simply just a white rectangle just as a little page design so drag this up make sure it's aligned with the center of that Right, so now that's in the center as well. And just have a quick preview of how this looks now as a website. As you can see, it's quite clean, simple and professional. It's not overly designed. It's easy to look at and you have these little things. So I've obviously like my web, my website has the parallax scrolling, which gives it a bit more fluidity and it just makes it feel like there's more going on rather than it being quite a static website. But this in itself is still quite a simplistic and nice layout. So just go back and we'll add the gallery and then the contact page. And I'll show you how to add the anchors so you can like jump down to different sections of the page and then that'll be the end of the video for today. Um, right, so now let's just duplicate these two actually because we need to make the gallery page. So we'll need both of these two elements again. Let's put them on here and this one's the gallery page. So we need to change this type to gallery. You need to quickly make sure that this is all aligned properly. So like this is the same distance away as this one. Okay, so it's a good job I checked that because that wasn't aligned, it wasn't right. So I can just keep that and I'll just quickly duplicate these and do the bottom one while I'm messing about with these. Okay, so now we're in the gallery section and all you're going to do is come across to add and as you can see it says gallery so it's very easy and straightforward to follow and you're going to go to grid portrait which is a very simple layout which i personally find to be the best it just looks cleaner in my opinion so let's just go to here and let's have a quick look at the website how i've laid it out so it's quite central it's quite small and there's just six showing but you can view more right so stretch, oops, stretch this out, make it a bit bigger. Maybe not, maybe not completely full size actually. Let's go for about there. We're gonna make sure we're keeping them square as well. So I'd say about that looks about right. Um, to distribute the size of the page. Right, yeah, that looks about fine. So let's go to change images. And I'm just going to delete all of these current existing images that they've got on there and just put the ones in that I've used in my example website that I've created. So add images, upload images, and I'm going to go to pictures. And I'm just going to hit open, get all these to load in. And once all your pictures have loaded in, you're just going to want to select all of your pictures that you want. You can have more, there's only going to be six on display on the front, but you can have I believe as many pictures as you like on there because it'll just cycle through them all but it'll only display the first six so let's just go to add to gallery and as you can see it'll add all these to it and here what you can do is you can change the title of the image you can add a description and you can add a link to it so it kind of opens it as like a gallery so let me just save these changes so I can show you what I mean so as I said before adding the gallery is actually very very simple very easy to do Right, so that's the gallery page done. I mean, you can add like a link to your Instagram if you like, but I'm trying to keep it simple for now. And then contact page at the bottom. And I'm just going to quickly um, drag the footer back up because the existing template must have been um, a larger website. So I'm just going to click that and drag this up at the bottom from this little arrow. And that will just simply bring that space to a close like this okay so now we're in the contact section which is the last section of the home page of what we're going to be building let me just have a quick look at the photo actually the photo is white so i'm just quickly just change this to white so it's a bit of an off gray here so let's make this white like that and white right and just leave that there for a minute so the contact page looks like this Let's zoom in. So it's very simple. It's basically just this little contact form here and then some uh, some details. 
like contact details so let's go to add and I'm pretty sure on here yeah there's a contacts there's a contact section here so you can add a little deep already pre pre-made contact form so I'm gonna go I want a slightly rounded one if I if there is one if not you could simply just export yours from Illustrator as well you can add maps as well to show where you are but I'm just gonna go with this one since it's the most simple and straightforward I can find um, so name email subject message subject message okay, it is longer so about that size about right and set your email so I'm just gonna set the email there and what we'll put in here John Smith 123 at Yahoo design right so the design of it will go to custom design and we'll go to fill and opacity so the background fill will be white and the type will be let's go down to text which is here label color so all these I think are the first orange which is this so make all these orange oops and then the actual font again we'll change this to brand and grotesque to stick with the theme Brand and grotesque. Make it bold, I think. Yeah, let's keep it bold. And what's this? Shadow. Don't want a shadow. Corners. Yeah, we can. Um, I think we can actually round them slightly, which is quite cool. Which is exactly what I wanted, actually. So we'll keep that on two. Um, what's the send button? How do I adjust that? Oh, here we go. Success message and all this here. Here, so let's go to button text that would again be orange and what else is there here custom right so this all needs to be changed as well I was getting a bit lost there so brand and grotesque keep selecting that same size make sure it's bold message color success make sure the success we'll have in white and I don't know success we'll have in orange and error message will be in a grey which makes sense so close that and then the last thing we're going to do now is simply add some of our own contact details to it so just go to text and we'll go to site title again we'll just add one of these quickly and we have email address mobile and skype last thing we need to do is change this so so we'll make this edit text we'll make this orange to match the branding close that and we'll just change the text so what we've got on here copyright 2016 John Smith mellow and what else do we have? Back to top. And at the bottom here, we're just gonna have another arrow, which will basically just take you back to the top of the page. So we'll just duplicate this and drag this down to the bottom. So make sure it says it's going onto the footer. Move to footer. So now this is on here, and all we're gonna do is just basically spin it round. So like so. Oops, lagged a bit there. Okay, this is a bit tricky. Right, 180. So, oh, right, get it bang on 180. And all this is going to do now, if you go to link on it, if you press link, where on the page, and this will just do. Um, where is it now? Top bottom of page. Right. So this will take you now to the top of the page. So I'll press done. I'm just gonna press save just to get it saved. Done. Preview. So now, as you can see. If you hit this, it will now take you to the back to the top of the website for you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the anchors. So that means if you press about, it will take you down to the about part of the page. So what you're going to do is go over to add over here, come down to more, where it says more at the bottom, and then you're going to scroll down a little bit and it'll just say anchor. And when you click that, you'll see it adds this anchor here. So what I'm going to do is just drag this down, move this box a second, drag this down to this part here. I'm going to rename this to anchor. I'm going to name this one to about. And I'm going to duplicate that. Bring it down. Oops, that's the wrong one. I brought the about anchor down. So bring that there. 
all you're going to do is just bring this to the very top of the each section like this so I'm just going to quickly duplicate that one again so I can bring it down for the next one I'm going to rename this as gallery and then the last one I'm going to name this one as contact so now once you've added your anchors, all you're gonna do is simply come to the top, go to about and then go to link. And then where it says where, it says where on page anchors, click this. And you're gonna go to about and then press done. Come across to gallery, do the same thing. And then obviously press gallery, press done. Contact, link. And we're gonna link to contact and then press done. And I'm gonna save this quickly. I'm going to quickly preview it as well so you can see how it works. So say, we're on, say you've gone to the website now and then you just want to go to the about section. It will take you down there and I've just noticed that we haven't actually done the hover on these. So design, customize design, hover, background needs to come off it and the color needs to stay at gray. That's fine. So let me just save this and preview it quickly. Let's see if that's right. Right, so, right, yeah, that's fine. Just one of the last little things I wanna show you before we talk about the very final thing is the transitions that you can have. So if you click on any, any element on the page, you'll see this one here, it's like a little square and it's like little arrows and it's called animate. If you click on this, you can select different animations. So this is when, once the page loads in or once you scroll down to this part of the page, this is how that element will actually load in. So you can do this for individual elements. So you can have them all fading in at the same time. You can have parts floating, parts fading. Um, I'm not gonna go through and do it on each individual element because it's quite a lengthy process and I don't really wanna just sit here recording me do that. So obviously if you wanna add some transitions to your elements and your website, then of course, feel free to do that. Um, and quickly, the last thing that I just want to quickly go over and show you is at the top here, it says switch editor views. And what this does, this takes you to the mobile version. So with Wix, you actually get a free mobile version of your website already created basically. But as you can see, when you come over to it here, um, a lot of the elements are actually misplaced and it's quite messy. So you do have to actually go through and sort of fix this up and redesign this. So if you want me to do a video on this, I'll leave this mobile version to another video because I've already done this for my own and it was quite a frustrating process but I did eventually get used to it but um, yeah I think it's just pretty cool that you did do offer you um, a mobile version as well instead of it just being the web version but on a mobile device so yeah let's go back to the desktop version and just have a quick look at it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna publish this website so now if you go, I'll leave the link to this in the description. So now if you go to this website, you can actually come and view the website that I've, you've just watched me build. So you can actually go on it and use it and just see how it works. I mean, obviously there's nothing on it that is particularly interesting. It's just a mock website just to show you like how to use it. But you know, you can go on it and just get a feel of how these sort of websites works. Look like these, they have little hover things. So you can change these, you can change everything on it. It's a very, very versatile website. You can create so many different things. So. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend if you're looking to build a website either for your personal use or for commercial use or for a business or whatever it is you're doing, um, I definitely recommend you at least give Wix a go before you go splashing hundreds of, hundreds of pounds or thousands of pounds on someone to code a website for you, which you could quite frankly just make on Wix yourself, which is save you a lot of money and a lot of time. So like I said before, I probably will be doing more videos on this, like how to create a portfolio, like portfolio pages rather than just a gallery like image thing so let me know what other sort of videos you might want to see and if you're interested in seeing more Wix tutorials anyway um, thank you all so much for watching I'll try and get some more videos out as soon as I can and thank you all for being so patient you know with me being at university and whatnot um, so yeah thank you all so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time